Hey guys, what's up? So, got a new package here. Um, you might be able to tell what it's, it is, but I decided to give those uh, some of those those Makita knockoff batteries a try. Um, they're pretty cheap. They're supposed to be five amp hour. It's a two pack. I got it for sixty bucks. Amazon. Send you a link. Um, let's open this up real quick. I, like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't know how these things are gonna work or what's up. So. Upside down. So two packs, sixty bucks. Let's see what's up. They actually supposedly were uh, in the description. They said they use Samsung uh, lithium ion cells. So let's take a look and see what's up. Garrett Bat, as you can see that right there, but, okay, so it looks like it doesn't have the, like the original, this one, BL1850, okay, they look to be the same size. And they're obviously, I, I think they're obviously not made by Makita because, well, maybe, I don't know. I'm guessing that these are just a 100% knockoff. Okay. Alright, so uh, I'm going to throw this on the charger real quick. Uh, well, actually, before I put the, throw this on the charger, I'm actually going to take it apart. I'm just curious to see what it looks like inside. Um, I'm kind of actually kind of what you saw. I did another video on replacing the chip. On this thing, I hear you with, with the Chinese made chip, the memory chip repair thing, but I was just curious to see what kind of chip they're using. If it looks like a real Makita chip or it looks like that Chinese chip, the fake chip, or the, I don't know, knock, knockoff chip, fake memory chip. Alright, so I know it used the Torx before, anti tamper proof Torx, so I'm gonna get that off and uh, see what it looks like inside. Alright, guys, let's see. This, it uses a. Uh, Anti-tamper-proof uh, with a little hole in the end. Uh, TR10. All right, let's see what's in this thing. I don't remember where I put my. I, th I think I, I had saved my Makita thing, the original uh, circuit board uh, thing here somewhere. Looking for it it's my. I think somewhere. Should be far enough. I don't see like an anti-tamper proof thing on this thing, like a, like a seal, but, so I haven't even charged this yet, this, you just see what I'm seeing here. I guess I want to see, I want to I wanna compare the knockoff battery, the circuit board with the original, you know, and see what kind they're using. If it mimics the real one, yeah, I don't know I might have thrown it away, I don't know. I thought I kept it though. I have to look somewhere in my bag, maybe. Okay, let's see here. So, I'm just curious to see if it also has Samsung cells like they sell, or like they say. Okay. Threads in there. I was like, what the hell is it? It's locked up here. There we go, guys. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this definitely doesn't look like a Makita original. Like, my Makita original had like a little uh, strip stripping, you know, not just wires. But I can't really tell if this thing is Samsung cells or not. Careful not to touch the wrong wires here. I want to break this before I even use it, but okay. I mean, that definitely definitely doesn't look as sophisticated as the original. You know, the original Makita I had. Um, oh, here it is. Stuff there it is. So this is the original Makita board on this VL three thirty. And it had like this, uh, see this right here? It had like this uh, this conductor strip or traces 
that when fed the fed the uh, cells here. So this actually I can't confirm if the Samsung cells. But yeah, here's the original circuit board. So maybe I can zoom in here or you can see that's the original and this is the the knockoff. All right, yeah, you can see there's a different different circuitry there. So that might be an issue. And then there's I'm not, I'm not going to take this one off, but looks different than my bootleg board, but very similar though. It looks like it has the heater. Well, I can't tell for sure. Like this little thermal thing right here, a little thermal uh thermal what's it called thermal protection fuse. All right, well, See the same charges. Put it back together real quick and come back. Yeah, I, I did take the battery out. Decided to <laughs> take a closer, closer look at it, um, or at the cells out of the pack. And I, I, what's the likelihood that these things are Samsung cells? You know, I mean, I don't really want to cut the paper off, but you know, what's really the likelihood that that would be a Samsung cell? So, all right, that's it. That's your knockoff battery right there. Alright. Put that back together and get it going. Alright, cool. We'll be back. Charge it. See if it actually charges on the charger. Guys, let's see what happens. It's plugged in here and this is sort of like an older charger, so I don't know what how it'd work with the newer ones. Turn that line off here. Um we'll, we'll see. Sure. I guess. Yeah, I guess it's made by. I mean, originally it didn't say Garrett Battery. It said more like Sun Pro or some kind of. You'll see the description. I'll put the link in where I bought it. Amazon power tool. It came a little manual, I guess. Oh yeah, it's just describing like battery maintenance and care. Okay. Well, let's see what's up. Charge it up. Five uh five amp hours. So five dot oh. This one was three. I guess that's it. So yeah, that's what you get. You know, sixty bucks. I think these are normally about sixty dollars each. That's only like three amp hour, so so we got two. Well, I mean, if these things really suck, then I'll come back and do a review on them. So that's what you get.